Hello and welcome once again to Ground Zero Militaria, your humble custodian of military antiques. Uh, so the pistol in this video probably needs little introduction to many viewers because this is a Luger P08 uh, 9mm Parabellum service pistol. Uh, this example is deactivated however as I live in the UK so it has to be by law. It's the only way I can legally own it. Uh, but it is an old specification deactivation which means that it will uh, strip, uh, cycle and dry fire. So it's called Luger after the name of its inventor Georg Luger and PO8 to signify 1908, uh, the year the definitive model entered service. So uh, German production of the Luger uh, ceased in September 1942 as it was supposed to be superseded by the Volta P38 uh, but there were never enough of those to meet demand so the Luger P08 remained in service to the end of the war and beyond with East German Volkspolizei of the DDR until 1953. Um, it was made by various manufacturers throughout its service uh, probably the two most well-known manufacturers being DWM for the World War I period and Mauser for the World War II period. Uh, there were other manufacturers such as Erfurt, uh, Simon, uh, Heinrich Kriegoff, but they are scarcer to find and worth a small fortune. Uh, then again, I don't think there are any uh, cheap Lugers to be found these days and I'm lucky that I purchased this when I did really. Um, so uh, in this vid I'm just mentioning the German production P08 as this example is German. Uh, but they were produced elsewhere too. Uh, Switzerland immediately comes to mind. So this is a standard Third Reich period example dated 1938 and made by Mauser. Uh, it's all matched and the magazine is original to the pistol. Um, so I'll give it a spin round on the turntable, give you a better look. So as you can see, it's a fair example. It does have some rubbing and wear to places, but all in all, it seems to retain uh, a great deal of its original bluing, as you can see. and the wears in the expected places where you would expect them for example for example but of course it all adds to the history of the pistol uh, at least you know this pistol was used at some point and not just uh, kept by a rear echelon officer in a desk drawer So I acquired this example in the year 2000. Uh, I traded a mismatched DWM 1917 for it. Uh, nothing in that pistol really matched uh, though. So fortunately, the dealer took it in part exchange for this example. Otherwise I probably couldn't have afforded this even back in 2000. So it's crisply dated when I get the thing to focus. Just a sec, guys. Okay, I'll come this side. There you go, nice and crisp, 1938. Sorry for the delay with the focus. And S42 coded for Mauser and I would have liked to have demonstrated the action for you but I can't do it one handed so when I get better equipment I do intend to re-upload some of these videos but I hope you bear with me and enjoy them nevertheless for the time being And this is an original World War II uh, leather hard shell 
uh, Luger P08 All Star. Um, although this one came from the same dealer, doing the same uh, deal that uh, I made, the same trade back in the year 2000, it is not matched to the pistol. Um, as you can see, this one's 1941 dated, the pistol's 38 dated. It doesn't really bother me too much because I'm sure uh, the people weren't really that pedantic when they were issuing these things. So it's very likely that an earlier pistol could be found in a later holster, in my opinion. Um, nicely varfen amped and it has a cleaning rod which was aftermarket I found elsewhere and it also has a spare magazine um, so the magazine in the pistol is matching to the pistol but the magazine in the holster is an aftermarket uh, magazine um, random magazine that I bought to just to fill the pouch and Inside this little pouch here is the stripped down tool, but again, I can't really do this one handed But it is present So There you go guys uh, The Luger P08 uh, 9mm Parabellum service pistol and I will see you guys soon with more Militaria. Bye for now.